The man known as the Unabomber was found dead in his prison cell today. Here's NBC's Dana Griffin. The man known as the Unabomber died while serving four consecutive life sentences decades after his reign of terror gripped the nation. Ted Kaczynski, the one-time mathematics prodigy, became infamous for eluding authorities. The only clue to his identity? This sketch made after a witness saw him planting a bomb. Kaczynski played a deadly cat and mouse game with the FBI in a nationwide bombing campaign that stretched 17 years, becoming one of the Bureau's longest and most expensive investigations ever. The FBI, the other agencies involved are working on this with as much diligence as I've ever seen in an investigation. His first homemade bomb detonated in 1978 at Northwestern University, injuring a security guard. The FBI would dub him a twisted genius for mailing or hand delivering 15 more bombs over the years. His devices killed three and injured nearly two dozen more, all while puzzling investigators for leaving behind no traceable evidence. In 1995, the Unabomber Task Force asked newspapers to publish a manifesto Kaczynski mailed them, hoping it would generate new leads. It did when David Kaczynski recognized the thinking of his brother and reported him to the FBI. It wouldn't have been right to allow him to, uh, to hurt anyone else. He had to be stopped in some way, and that was the only way I could think to stop him. On April 3rd, 1996, investigators arrested Kaczynski at his tiny cabin near Lincoln, Montana. There, they found journals detailing his crimes, just $32.80 to his name and something else. Federal agents have turned up a live bomb at the home of the man the government believes is the Unabomber. Kaczynski's campaign of fear finally over. Yes, sir, you're the Unabomber. Are you the Unabomber? Ultimately, in 1998, he said he was pleading guilty and spending the rest of his life in prison.